everyone, I am Adrita. Welcome to my study room. In the previous video, we have already completed physical properties of metals and non-metals, right? In this video, we are going to learn about chemical properties of metals and non-metals. Means, um, the, what are the chemical properties actually? Means, how do they react with something? Means, how do these metals and non-metals react with, for example, oxygen? How do they react with um, water, how do they react with acid, how do they react with bases, okay? So these are the chemical properties, okay? So we are going to learn about them in this video. So first point is reaction with oxygen means how do metals and non-metals react with oxygen? Reaction with oxygen, first we are going to discuss about metals. Now, metals are very reactive, okay? Metals react with almost everything. Um, example, sodium and potassium. Sodium and potassium are the most reactive metals, okay? So, what do these metals do? The metals react with oxygen to form certain oxides, okay? Oxide of that same metal. Um, I'm writing it down. Metal plus oxygen gives metal oxide okay so metal reacts with oxygen to form metal oxide for example let's give it uh, let's take sodium 4na 4na so na is sodium okay so sodium is a metal right so sodium with oxygen means o2 forms its metal oxide means sodium with oxygen will form sodium oxide right the formula of sodium oxide is na2o okay so it forms two sodium oxide so two na2o means two sodium and one oxygen okay sodium oxide so what is this sodium with oxygen forms sodium oxide okay so this was an example now let's take another example of magnesium what will happen in magnesium magnesium will react with oxygen to form Magnesium oxide, right? Let's write it down. Magnesium, right? Mg. So 2 Mg means 2 magnesium plus O2 will form magnesium oxide. 2. It forms 2 magnesium oxide, okay? So what is this? Magnesium. It reacts with oxygen to form magnesium oxide. Okay, so so this is how metals react with oxygen. Now, if you have ever seen when any iron material is kept in open air then a reddish brown substance is formed in it right when iron is kept in open air a reddish brown substance is formed in it it is known as rust right actually it destroys the iron iron right the metal means the iron gets eaten away the iron gets eaten away by air water etc right so and it forms rust so this is also what it is reacting with oxygen because when iron comes in contact with oxygen then it forms that rust same goes with copper when copper also comes in contact with oxygen it forms a green coating okay so that is copper oxide and rust is actually what rust is actually iron oxide okay so let's write it down first let's write copper 
copper is what Cu. I told you right. Two Cu plus oxygen. Two copper oxides. Okay. So this is what copper. This is oxygen. And this is copper oxide. This was of what? This was corrosion. Okay, this process is known as corrosion. Means um, the slow eating away of a metal. Okay, it's known as corrosion. Rusting is an example of corrosion. This is also corrosion. Okay, it, the copper gets eaten away, right? And it forms a dull green looking structure that is copper oxide now let's write the formula of rust let's rub this one rust actually occurs in two steps okay first it reacts with oxygen and then it also reacts with water okay so first rust occurs from iron what is the formula of iron fe Fe plus O2, 3O2 actually, okay. Forms, forms 2 Fe2O3. This is actually not rust. Rust forms when it is, when it also comes in contact with H2O, means it comes in contact with water. So, this is Fe2O3. Fe2O3 is formed, right? And now what happens? Fe2O3, Fe2O3 comes in contact with water. What is the formula of water? H2O, right? Hydrogen and oxygen forms water. H2O, it is the formula of water. And how many molecules of water are there? We take a variable, okay? We, we actually write a variable. We don't write any number. Here we write a variable. So we write N. It's actually not a formula, it's just a variable. You can write a 3, 2, 1, anything, okay? It's just a variable. Means, what is this variable? The number of water, okay? The number of water molecule. So, Fe2O3, what is Fe2O3? It was formed by this, by this reaction, right? Iron reacted with oxygen to form Fe2O3. And now, this Fe2O3 reacts with water to form rust. Means, what is the formula of rust? Actually, what happens? Fe2O3 and NH2O forms Fe2O3 NH2. Okay, it's actually very easy. And this is what? This is rust. Um, rust is that um, reddish or a little bit brownish coating that is seen in the iron materials. Okay? Iron is not present in them, right? Because iron gets eaten away and it converts into Fe2O3 NH2O, right? So this is rust. Now this rust, it destroys machineries, buildings made of iron, right? So it is, so we must know some ways to prevent rusting, right? Because rusting destroys a lot of machines. It destroys buildings, bridges, etc. Okay. So we need some ways to prevent rusting. What are some ways to prevent rusting? There are a lot of ways. I'm telling you some of them. Um, number one point is we paint it, okay? The iron material, we paint the iron material, okay? With oil paints, okay? And so it doesn't let, um, it doesn't let the iron material come in contact with the air, right? So it will not rust. If it doesn't come in contact with oxygen, then how it, will it form rust? It will not be able to form rust, so we paint it. Many ships are painted, right? Ships are made up of iron and they are always in contact with water. So why don't they rust? They are painted, right? They are painted. That's why they cannot rust, okay? And there is another method. We apply oil or grease in them, okay? Oil also same thing. It doesn't let it come, come in contact with air or water. Another important point is galvanization. Galvanization is coating thin layers of zinc 
on the iron materials okay zinc is coated on the iron materials this process is galvanization this is also very important this is also a very important process galvanization what happens we coat a thin layer of zinc thin layers of zinc on the iron material so it doesn't rust and there is another thing that this iron to prevent it from rusting it is converted into some alloys okay you have ever heard of steel stainless steel stainless steel is actually an alloy of iron but does stainless steel rust no stainless steel never rusts so iron is converted into stainless steel okay to prevent it from rusting because stainless steel will never rust it is an alloy right so these are some preventing ways of rusting okay so this was the reaction of metals with oxygen now let's learn about reaction with oxygen of non metals okay so let's rub this one non metals non metals also react with oxygen okay they form non metallic oxide what do this metal form metallic oxide and non metals form non metallic oxide these non metallic oxides are also known as acidic oxides why because they form acid they form certain acids when they are reacted with water okay when they react with water first what happens non metals react with oxygen to form non metallic oxide non metals react with oxygen to form non metallic oxides so what happens let's solve let's learn with an example so first carbon carbon is a non metal right with reacts with oxygen to form co2 what is co2 carbon dioxide right we know co2 carbon dioxide gas so it is carbon dioxide oxide right it is also an oxide so what carbon which is a non metal reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide right there is another example sulfur s s is the symbol of sulfur okay these are symbols right like we learned sodium sodium symbol is what n a magnesium m g then iron f e and then um we learned copper c u so these are the symbols so sulfur symbol is s and carbon symbol is c okay so this sulfur it reacts with oxygen to form so2 So two is sulfur dioxide. Okay, so let's write it down. Sulfur reacts with oxygen Now, what happens? These carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. this when comes in contact with water this oxide okay non metallic oxide when comes in contact with water it forms certain acids okay we have to write it let's write it over here for let's take the example of sulfur means sulfur dioxide when sulfur dioxide reacts with water it forms certain acid it forms sulfurous acid okay so that's why these oxides are also non metallic oxides these are also known as acidic oxides let's take an example so2 when it reacts with water it forms sulfurous acid the formula of sulfurous acid is h2so3 okay h2so3 so sulfur dioxide reacts with hyd 
um, reacts with water to form sulfurous acid. Same goes with carbon. Car carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid. Okay, so that's why these are also known as acidic oxide. So this was the reaction with oxygen of metals and non-metals. In the next video, we are going to learn about reaction with water. Okay, how does metals and non-metals react with water? So this was for today. If you like this video, click on like button and to stay with me, please click on subscribe button. Thank you.